How many times have you been tapped in your life, you think? A lot. I would reckon thousands. Really? Yeah. A lot. Especially at the beginning of my career when I just didn't know anything. I was a wrestler and I would just fall into triangles left and right and arm bars and I would shoot into guillotines. I would leave my neck up when I'm, you know, someone has my back. So over and over and over again, I was just know what I was doing so that was what was motivating to me is like I knew I had to go back so I could figure it out I could solve that puzzle what's the worst injury you've ever had with grappling um, well the worst injury I had was probably when I was wrestling so just the, the precursor to grappling and I um, I broke my ankle I think it was my left one if I remember correctly now and I actually had wrestling shoes on so they stuck to the mat and it got spun all the way around in a 360 and it like it just snapped my ankle that was terrible how long were you out um, I was probably out for like a good six months before I was like maybe coming back to even be able to do something like that because my calf muscle just completely deteriorated too so I had to rehab that and build everything back so you know the bone healed inside of you know two, two months or so but trying to get back to where I was strong enough to do something physically demanding like wrestling or track or anything like that took me probably a good six months you hit another level mentally leading up to the Ronda fight, I mean, sorry, the Holly fight. What's the key? I mean, you've been tapped thousands of times, you've been beaten, you've got losses in MMA. Why, what is it, what do you do mentally so that when you get there on fight night, it's like, it's my time, it's my day, and nothing that happened before matters. What do you, how do you get that mindset? I think it's knowing that all those, those times that I have failed have made me stronger and forged me so that I can have more success in the end. You know, it's knowing that I've prepared everything that I have for this moment. So why not be confident about it? Why not feel good about it? Why not know that you're capable of doing that? It's like I wouldn't be sitting there fighting for the world title if I didn't put in the time and the put in the work to do that. So I just look back on it and say, you know what? I did everything that I could do. I came every day to the gym and I worked my butt off and I've sacrificed time and time again to be standing here right now. And, and I've deserved, I deserve this, I've earned it. And just knowing that about yourself, knowing that you put that work in. And I think it's like a drop of poison if you know that there's something that you could have done more. So I think it's really just knowing that you've done everything that you can. Are there any certain words, any certain words that were in the front of your mind when you were backstage before the Holly fight, where, where is there anything that like you kept going back to, a, a phrase or certain words that? Yeah, I just kept saying that you can beat this girl. That you're gonna beat this girl. She's just a she's just a girl. She's a girl standing across the cage from you. Like, what does she have that's like that's better than what you have? Why why is she any more capable than than I am? I was like, she's not. And I kept telling myself, this is the last time you will see yourself. This is the last time you'll look in the mirror and see a, see a non-UFC champion. That's the last time. Because when you come back here, you're going to have a belter anyways. Just a lot of, of positive self-talk. What was the inner dialogue before the fifth round, or was there even any? Was it just instinct autopilot, or was there something that you said to yourself right in that fifth round? You knew you were losing. What, are, are you aware of any inner dialogue? Yeah. I, I hit a fuck it button. <laughs> I don't know if that's appropriate to say, but it, honestly, it kind of was. It's just like, I realized that the perfect opportunity was not going to present itself at that point. Um, I had a really dominant second round, and I thought, okay, I can get this girl down. And then she was so unbelievably precautious in the third and fourth round, because clearly she knew she didn't want to go back down. And even two minutes into the fifth round, there was no openings. She was pretty much flawless in her striking, very calculated not to overcommit in anything. There was no openings, and I just kept thinking, there's going to be an opening, there's going to be an opening, round but by. She'll give me another opening, it'll come, another round went by. Half of the round, fifth rounds, and, and, and it's like, sometimes you can't rely on that there's going to be a perfect opportunity to make your dream come true. Sometimes you've just got to grit it out, and you've got to be willing to risk it all, and that's what I said to myself, I was like, you know what? If I get knocked out trying to go for broke at this point, I was like, then I do. I was like, that's a risk I'm willing to take. I was like, because I'd rather get finished and say, like, you you really gave it all you had than to go to a decision and say, I think I could have done a little bit more. I think I could have done a little bit better. And so I just was like, fuck it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to maybe eat her best shot, and I'm going to give it everything I have to try to finish this fight right now because that's, that's my only option. Like, I didn't come here to not win a world title. I came here to win a world title, and I've got to go for broke right now. What's your essence? 
What's your essence? What do you offer to the world in terms of when people look at you as an inspiration? Promote, what, what's your essence when you think of what you really project and give to put out into the world? The spirit of what you put out in the world. What is that? Uh, I think that people could maybe find inspiration in my story in the simple fact that um, I have been down and out and I've been broken by this sport, you know, multiple times before. I've been at the lowest lows of my of my life because of this sport and that's just symbolic of life in itself. Like if you really dedicate yourself to something and you're